Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my video. Today we'll be testing a temperature gauge out of a 1972 Chevrolet Chevelle Supersport. This application will be the same, whether it's a 70, 71, or 72 Chevelle or Monte Carlo. Um, all right, so let's get testing. The tools required in this video to do the test are the same if you watched my fuel gauge video. Uh, you'll just need a 12 volt power supply, simulate the car's battery, a 100 ohm resistor, and a 47 or anything lower than 100 really, just to get some sort of reading on it. But I'm using 47 and that is it. The testing process is pretty simple. On the back you have four prongs. Um, the one on the right, far right, will be used for your 12 volt positive. The one on the bottom is your ground, and the one on the left will be coming from the sensor on your engine block. That changes in resistance depending on how hot, uh, hot or cold your engine may be. This is an aftermarket gauge. Um, I know on the original ones, I think on the original ones actually, there's a resistor that runs between uh, the top and bottom prong, but since this is a aftermarket replacement for an OEM gauge, uh, this resistor is not here. So take note of that if you are testing an original gauge, make sure that resistor is there and uh, just make sure everything's set up correctly. To test it, it is pretty straightforward. All I am going to do is take my 100 ohm resistor and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom ground plug and take the other end and wrap it around the plug that comes or goes to the sensor on the engine block. I'm going to take the negative lead of my power supply and clamp it on there and clamp it on to the far right. Turn it over and let's see what happens. Starting to climb. Looks like it stopped around the 185, 190 mark, which is right where your engine should be. It's okay if it's up to 210, but it seems to be in the normal range there. So we know that works. So I will shut this off and I will set it up with the 47 ohm resistor and I'll get back to you. Okay, I am all set up with the 47 ohm resistor exactly the same. Just wrap the resistor from the ground up to the resistance side of the gauge and hook up your uh, power supply leads or battery leads, whatever you're testing with. I will turn on the power supply here. See it climbing. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> 250 degrees. I hope uh, your engine never sees that heat ever. At least a small block, that would not be good, or big block, for that matter. Uh, but as you can see, with the 100 ohm and the 47 ohm resistor, it goes through the ranges from hot, extremely hot, to normal operating range. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, the testing is pretty straightforward. Uh, you really don't need a whole lot, just a couple resistors and 12 volt. And you'll know if your gauge works before you go through the hassle of installing it. And uh, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching.